Well, this week, Parliament passed a law banning gang patches on government property. Places like hospitals, government departments, schools and even swimming pools are now no patch zones. Black Power member Eugene Ryder is with me live. Thanks for joining me this morning. Kia ora. Um, we haven't heard much from gangs about this. Why would that be? Uh, probably because it has no effect on, on the gangs themselves because they don't go into those um, buildings or organisations with patches on. So. There was, but when it, uh, Wanganui instituted its no patch uh, ban, there was a bit of hoo-ha about that and one of the gangs took the council to, uh, to court. Mm. So it was a problem then, not a problem now? Well, I think it was a prob it's a problem for different gangs. Yeah. Um, I know that uh, you know, our perspective is uh, changing someone's clothing doesn't change their behaviour. And if you look at the wider issues about why um, people are actually in gangs and you know, what kind of environment they're living in for um, a gang to be a uh, place of refuge for them, then you know, there's kind of bigger issues in play around poverty and things like that. So this is, what, is it laughable that this, this legislation has been passed? Really means nothing at all? Well, it seems to me a waste of um, taxpayers' money going through the um, three readings and, and the process that they needed to go through in order to um, introduce this bill for something that um, yeah, it doesn't have that much effect on society. I, think, I mean, I guess the idea is to try and reduce visibility of gangs. Uh, I mean, it, it probably have some impact in that sense, wouldn't it? Well, um, given that, um, you know, those areas that, are the, that the patches are being banned uh, are not areas that uh, gang members wear patches, then, yeah, it's not going to have any... Well, not inside the institutions, on no. the way to, you know? Well, or even um, swimming pools, you know? I mean... Well, I've yet to see a, a patch at a swimming pool. Um, it may mean that um, people will be outside, congregating outside those areas with patches because they're not allowed in them, and I'm sure that will cause more trouble than, uh, than the government thought. Cause more trouble in which way? Well, it'll be seen as a... Um, you know, if guys don't walk into the swimming pools because pools they're wearing their patch, then they're going to be standing outside the swimming pools. And, you know, that. It, it, what makes it laughable is that there's a lot of places in New Zealand that gangs are allowed to wear their patches, you know, in public and that. And um, it seems that, um, yeah, I think the government's got it wrong on this. Uh, the former Māori Party president, Pim Bird, said it could raise tensions. Is he wrong? Um, I think... What, what, it, what it's continued to do is um, isolate communities such, you know, such as gangs. And you know, I, I read a comment from one of the MPs around how we are a threat to the fabric of um, society. And, and you know, I think we are part of the fabric of society. Um, and ignoring us or isolating us into um, certain areas uh, will take us nowhere. The thing is, though, that patches are intimidating, aren't they? Well, some people find suits and ties intimidating, um, but no one's going to outlaw those. And I think it's up to, you know, it's a common human trait for people to hear, uh, fear what they don't so, know. Suits and ties, though, don't represent uh, the fear of violence no. so much as patches do. Well, I think uh, it's, people have got their own perceptions about it, and people that actually know um, people that are in gangs, they don't have that fear because they've got to know but those But those are people. people that know those people. We're yeah. talking about the general public. Well, I think... Well, those people are part of the general public, and the challenge is, you know, to um, if you if there's something you, that you fear, then you try to um, take the risk to uh, to allay that fear by getting to know people. And you know, people that are close to gang members ha don't have the worry. And, so, and so, so gang them. members that under this legislation that that uh, that do end up in trouble for wearing their patches and on government property uh, face a two thousand dollar fine or having their patches destroyed. What would that mean for for a gang member? Well, it'll mean a two thousand dollar debt that they're not going to be in a position to play uh, to pay. Um, so yeah, it's a difficult situation because what what I think it's going to do um, is create a criminal out of someone who isn't actually acting in a criminal way um, by wearing a piece of clothing, and that's um, that's unfortunate. But it's a piece of clothing. I mean, I know I'm labouring this. It's a piece of clothing that represents things that people fear in society, and not without reason. Yeah, I think um, you know. Uh, People have their own perceptions of what they represent. You know, to uh, individual members, they represent mana uh, for that particular organisation or community. Um, and there is work being done within those communities to um, address some of the uh, behaviours that have been um, displayed in the past. Um, that's created some of that fear. It's unfortunate that um, the government aren't supporting you know, the, those communities and those areas. All right, and we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning, Eugene Ryder.